map, plant, water bottle, television. I didn't have a lot to vlog about this week, so I thought I'd start out by pointing at inanimate objects and also talk about how dangerous Thailand is. <laughs> Not particularly, not if you keep your wits about you and research first and avoid the usual tourist scams. But I want to tell you the story of how I almost died there. And maybe you'll learn something for your own travels. It all started in 2015. We flew out of the Gold Coast to travel to Bangkok. It was my first major travel experience, so I was pretty excited. After a brief stopover in Singapore, we landed in Bangkok and got ready to explore prepared enough that we even had malaria pills. So, first things first, breakfast, anti-malaria pills, and then a stroll through the city, go see the Grand Palace. So, after a few days and a few hilarious lessons, like this one, I just learned that how you say thank you in Thai is um, not how a woman says thank you in Thai, otherwise I'm a ladyboy. We made our way to the far north. <music> Chiang Mai. This small town in the foothills of the Himalayas was amazing, but it wasn't comfortable at all. Classic backpacker experience. Chiang Mai was the reason we took malaria pills. Mosquitoes in this part of the world can literally be deadly. So day one down and I started to feel sick. Like a common cold at first, but before we even got back to the hotel, it felt like hardcore influenza. So this is our first day in Chiang Mai. Cal's been sick. Except it's in Thailand. So I'm assuming it's a Thai flu. Maybe it's an Australian flu. And Thai flu. Me. This is me, an absolute atheist praying to Buddha, or any god, to make me feel better. That night, my fever spiked so high that Emily could feel the heat radiating from my body, so much that she couldn't even sit on the bed because of how far the heat was going. Whatever foreign sickness I had caught, it's like my body had decided, I'm going to burn this out or kill you trying. There was no hospital, no travel insurance, stupidly, and the first time we've traveled without it, and no helicopter to fly us back to Bangkok. I took a dangerous amount of paracetamol, which probably saved my life. I'm not sure if it was dengue fever or something else, but it definitely felt like the worst sickness I've ever had in my life. Worse than any flu I've ever gone through. It felt like I was going to die. But funny enough, the next morning I woke up absolutely fine. Like nothing had happened. I felt great. We spent another two months in Asia exploring and enjoying all there was to see throughout Thailand and Cambodia. The moral of the story is always get travel insurance, make sure everything's covered, do your research, carry a shitload of paracetamol, and don't rule out prayer, just in case. <laughs>